these systems will be virtually free of bugs. Those two improvements go hand in hand. In the latter respect, software seems to be different from many other products where, as a rule, higher quality implies a higher price. But those who want really reliable software will discover that they must find means of avoiding the majority of the bugs to start with. And as a result, the programming process will become cheaper. If you want more effective programmers, you will discover that they shouldn't waste their time debugging. They shouldn't introduce the bugs to start with. In other words, both goals point to the same change. Such a drastic change in such a short period of time would be a revolution. And to all persons that base their expectations for the future on smooth extrapolation of the recent past, the chance that this drastic change will take place must seem negligible. But we all know that sometimes revolutions do take place. And what are the chances for this one? There seem to be three major conditions that must be fulfilled. The world at large must recognize the need for the change. Secondly, the economic need for it must be sufficiently strong. And thirdly, the change must be technically feasible. Let me discuss these three conditions 